home. Um, Hi guys, so today I'm going to share with you how I color my hair at home. Um, I'm definitely needing it, as you can see. I've got some good old white roots showing up here today. I can really see it right there. So anyway, so we're gonna see if I can get rid of all that gray today. So first, I like to comb through my hair, make sure there's no knots in it. And just so you know, I have not washed my hair in three days. When you color your hair, I think it really helps to not have like squeaky clean hair. For me, it just works better. I think the color sticks better um, to a little bit of dirty hair. So I just make sure I comb through it all and I shed like a crazy person. And yes, I do not have any makeup on today. So after this, obviously I wanna take a shower and get the hair color out. So um, I'm not gonna get all my face together here just for the video. So you guys get to see raw me. This is just an old t-shirt. Um, that I use it's black that way if there's any color that gets on it It really doesn't matter because I always seem to spill a little bit. Um, I have down here some towels I'll just show you guys old towels Just so that I don't ruin my nice white sink and my granite countertop So definitely want to put some towels down some old towels just to protect all surfaces. So I do that um, I did go and buy my usual hair color, which is L'Oreal this is what I've been using for years and years and years. It's the best one I've found to really help cover the gray. I've got extremely stubborn gray, so I leave this on for almost an hour. Some people would cringe at that and think that their hair would fall out, but my hair is pretty strong and coarse, and it, it definitely needs time to process. So today I'm gonna be using the Dark Golden Brown, which is 4G. And I go back and forth. Sometimes I just use Dark Brown. Um, I stay away from black. I stay away from too light a shade. Um, but I'm going today with a dark golden brown. The closer we get to summer, the lighter I like to get a little bit. So, so what comes in the L'Oreal Cream, Excellence Cream coloring kit are your instructions, which I don't need anymore since I've been doing this for years. But I would definitely, if I were you, read through these um, and then also do a pre-color treatment to make sure that your hair is ready for it, especially if you're not used to doing at home color. All you're gonna need, it comes right in the box. You don't need to buy anything additional when coloring it. So definitely I would suggest using that um, if you're new to color, but I don't use this anymore, I don't need it. Then you've got your gloves. You definitely wanna get those on because this can be very messy. <laughs> thing that comes in here is this little comb. I do not use this, but it can be helpful. Um, and getting in there, but I just use the tip of the bottle, so I don't really use that, but definitely good, and I have used it in the past. So The next thing that comes in here are your actual developer cream and the permanent color cream. So these are the two that you're going to mix together. You're gonna put number two and number one. And all the instructions come with it, so this is really, really simple. So I'm going to go ahead and get that done. And what you want to do with this is just take off the cap, flip it over. It's got like a little point right there. And that's how you're going to pierce open this tube. Put that aside. And then you're just going to put that right into and just squeeze that whole bottle right in, or the whole tube right in the bottle. Make sure you get it all in there. So I go through and... I just keep squeezing the tube until it's completely empty. I use pretty much this whole bottle um, of developer because I have a little bit longer hair. I think that if you have even longer hair, you're probably going to need to buy two color kits. And I just keep this little box here and I throw everything in just so that there's not a mess and that color doesn't get everywhere in my bathroom. So once that's in there, I put this little cap back on and then I snap off this little top. So you just go ahead and mix that until it's well mixed, at least 30 seconds. And the reason I remove the top of this tip before I start shaking it and mixing it is because if you wait till after, you're gonna have a bit of an explosion. It's happened to me before. <laughs> so I learned the hard way. So as soon as that's mixed, I don't take my finger off of that. 
I, I go right to my head and I start applying because like I told you, it's gonna start coming right off the top here. Or you can wait a second and let it drop back down and you should be okay, but I like to get things going pretty quick. So right away, see how it starts just coming right out all on, all on its own? I'm not even pressing down on the bottle. So what I do is I go ahead and I start separating and I just go right up to start separating. The bottle, the tip of the bottle does that all for me. And I just keep going right on down all my skunk lines. Like I said, I have really stubborn gray. So that's why you always want to start at your roots, especially with me. Like I, I'm not going to really drag this color throughout my whole hair. Um, if you're doing a total application, then you still want to start at your roots. Um, so you don't want to dry your hair out too much. And you know, start at your roots and then continue on through the rest of, of the hair. Just keep going right down the middle all throughout your hair. Just start separating it and just keep reapplying. And then you just want to rub it in a little bit. And make sure you hit all the areas. And if you have somebody at home, your mom, a sister, sibling, whatever, a spouse, that can do the back for you, because that would be easier, then definitely have them do that. But you can pretty much figure out how to get all the areas. So I'm just going to keep doing that. Keep separating, applying, and rubbing in slightly like that. You're not massaging it totally into your scalp. You're just trying to make sure that all those roots are getting hit with color. really stubborn grays all along the hairline here so I definitely want to hit that area especially like right through there and just make sure to massage that all in try to avoid your skin as much as possible it will stain your skin like a little wet cloth or washcloth ready to just kind of dab away any excess that gets onto your skin I'm do the same thing right up front here just like that make sure that all that area has Hair color okay so that's one side done I just flip it and do the same thing to the other side doesn't that look good again you want to make sure you get that whole side right there See, sometimes that happens where you get a little bit of color. You just want to go ahead and get that wiped off right away. Otherwise, it will stain. So then what I like to do at this point, once I've done both those sides, is then I start going down the back. And you can kind of feel where you're at. And just separate, put the color on, and rub it in. So you're doing the exact same thing that you did up front, except right down the center in the back. I don't have a lot of gray hair um, at the bottom near my neck, um, but I still like to hit that area just to maintain the same color throughout all my roots. Okay, so I've done both sides. I've done all the way down the back. Now you want to hit this area right in here. Again, separate, lift, and just hit that area right there, all the way down the side. You don't have to be so totally careful because you're going, after you're done, you're going to kind of all rub it in a little bit, so you should be able to hit any areas that you've accidentally missed. Other side, do the same thing. If you hear a TV in the background, I've got Friends playing in the other room, so I can hear it in the bathroom over here. Friends is one of my favorite shows. It started... I think in 1994 or 93 um, and I was living in California at the time and like every Thursday night I had to watch Friends. I loved it. Still one of my favorites. Still like to watch the reruns. Okay, so I've hit that whole side. I've hit the middle. I've hit the back. Now I like to make sure I just get all around the bottom hairline here on the neck. 
even though again like I don't have much gray back there but I just like to remain consistent in terms of the color especially now that I'm going with this um, golden brown um, my color right before this one last about three weeks ago um, was dark brown so this one's a little bit lighter so I just want to make sure I get all the roots that all the areas are colored and you look like a rock star. I've gone through most of it but I've got a little bit left right in there so I'm just gonna go ahead and make sure this since again this is one of my stubborn areas right in here the part that really starts to show gray I'm gonna go ahead and touch up right in here to make sure I've got all of that hit it's pretty saturated I'm sure I'm fine but just to be safe just go through and make sure that it's all rubbed in You just want to gather up all of your hair, make sure it's out of the way, and then if you're wanting to put it through the rest of your hair at this point because you want it all one color, this is the time that you would do that once all your roots are done. But since I don't do the ends in the same color, I just put it all up just like that. And like I said, I leave it on for almost an hour, probably 45 minutes. I don't have a lot of stubborn gray, or if you're just looking at coloring your hair for the first time, just follow the instructions that are on the box. It's typically 30 minutes. Okay, so once it's all up and clipped, I like to take whatever's left in the hair color and just kind of put it on the back just to rub it all in. Just like that. So to make sure that it's not going anywhere while it's setting. And processing and you can take a look around see if you've missed any spots now I wouldn't suggest going outside or talking to anybody because you're gonna scare them if they see you looking like this so I typically this is the time I do laundry or play on my computer watch YouTube <laughs> um, and just hang out try not to rest your head on any of your furniture because you will stain it um, and so just process so I'll come back and see you guys in about 45 minutes okay guys it's been 45 minutes almost 50 and this is what it looks like it looks pretty scary but it's not so I'm gonna go ahead and take a shower and rinse it all out and I'll be right back okay I just washed it and now I'm going to go ahead and comb it out and style it for you guys to see Okay everyone, I am done coloring my hair and I went ahead and styled it. And if you guys want to know exactly how I styled it, I'm going to link my video down below to how you style your dry frizzy hair and how you straighten it. Um, that's exactly what I just did. I want to see quickly how it looks after I colored it and no more gray. Turned out really, really nice. Looks very natural. So hopefully you guys can get an idea there of how it looks and I'll show you the middle, which is usually the worst part. No more grays. That's it you guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope it was helpful and don't forget to please comment below and let me know what you thought and also don't forget to please subscribe. Thanks you guys. We'll see you in my next video. Bye.